We'll just shoot this Sherman again. Okay. It's, I'm just trying to make sure they can't, like, reman it, you know? All right, howdy, gents. Welcome back to another episode of The Troop. I've been really, really enjoying this game that kind of came out of nowhere. And judging off your comments, you guys have also really been enjoying it. We're going to be playing the No Further scenario as the German small German unit is tasked with defending this town with a mechanized British force attacking it. Now, while I'm setting up my units, a quick little note. The developers, as I did talk about in my previous video, which I'll link in the description, mentioned they do intend to bring something playable out to you guys, the you know, the audience, the, the players. And as far as I'm aware, it's still supposed to come out right before Christmas or before the end of the year. Obviously, you know, I'm not a developer, so I couldn't necessarily give you the exact answer. I, I do personally hope it comes out soon because this game is is a lot of fun and the developer already said they're planning to you know ship what I currently have extended beta build but with more missions even um, so when you do get your hands on this game it's gonna have like 12 or 13 missions including the tutorial levels which is quite a, bu a bunch you know most of you can play from both sides the Axis and the Allies so that makes basically doubles the number to like the low 20s. Um, and, and then, you know, every scenario is replayable to a degree, so pretty excited to see what happens there. But I won't delve into that much further. If you want to know more, I will link the previous video in the description, where the first couple of minutes I really talk about all that. Now, this particular scenario is interesting. Oh, I kind of want to swap these around here. Uh, maybe you go in the flank, and then you go here. Um, this is, scenario is interesting because you get a Flak 88, and the Flak 88 obviously, you know, doesn't really need an introduction, I don't think. It's a 88 millimeter anti-aircraft gun that they started putting into anti-tank use. Uh, I think basically the German forces in North Africa realized, hey, this thing is pretty good uh, against tanks. And then, um, you know, also the German forces in the Soviet Union were like, hey, this thing is pretty good against tanks. Why don't we, you know, use it as, as an anti-tank gun? So this thing is going to be the backbone of my defense. I have it covered by three uh, regular teams and a Panzerschreck team. And a regular team here with the Panzer IV sort of hold this right area. Now, I'm not really sure where this Flak 88 should go. I'm thinking, see, because right now we can see its line of sight is pretty all right, but it's not great with basically no line of sight over here and, uh, well, very, very weak line of sight over to the far left. So we could relocate it, but I feel like the more I try to locate it away to give a different angle on the sides, we kind of lose that main road angle. So maybe we just want to put it as far as back as possible. I want to cover this main road, but then we lose all the coverage on the flanks. This is really a messy sort of situation we're in. There's a lot of options we can put this down. Actually, this might not be a bad spot now I think about it. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm, we'll, we'll play that one. A little aggressive. I like it. I like it. We're going to see how this one goes. We're going to go into deployment. Now, people were confused about this in the previous video, and, you know, fair enough. I do not intend to skip any more of the turns. I can click left mouse button, and then units will skip to their location or their position, right? Now, people seem really confused by that, and a lot of comments seem to maybe not be huge fans of this, so fair enough. I'm not going to be skipping any more of the unit movement, uh, just to make it look maybe a little more fluent instead of having the unit. It's going to skip across the screen, um, so to say. So I think what we're going to do here is maybe sort of... I don't want to necessarily aim at this infantry, but maybe we'll like aim in front of it over here. And then with the Panzer, why don't we aim at this open spot? Because I'm assuming any armor that goes through has to go through this one hole. There's no other way for them around unless they go all the way over here. So we're going to pre-aim at this spot, pre-aim at this spot over here on the road. My goal here is, I think, to not engage anything unless either it's spotted. So when they spot me, I obviously should engage it. Or when there's the one chance of the battle where I can do the ambush thing, because currently my units are hidden. Um, I want to get that first shot on an enemy unit and knock them out. Now, this Sherman pushing in the middle is an issue because my Panzer IV on the right, nor my flat gun, I think, are going to have eyes on that thing. Now, the scout car with the infantry inside is pushing up. So, the Sherman in the middle, I'm not sure. I mean, even my Panzer Shrek team is a little far off. Potentially, I could run it around, but... Let's take a look here at the line of sight tool. Yeah, so this is bad. 
Okay, the flat gun, it could potentially aim at it, but only at a 33% chance. Why don't we sort of pre-aim here, hope that it doesn't go any more north than that, and then we'll hold our fire for one more turn. We'll let our Panzer Shrek deal with this half track, and I think we're going to see what happens here. This will be interesting. I'm assuming they haven't spotted my flak yet just because it's in cover and concealment. But let's find out here. Infantry. Oh, they're going to get really close to my flak. These guys will probably have to be machine gun soon. Uh, okay, here comes another squad of infantry next to the Sherman. And then there's... Okay, there's another Sherman on the flank. Ooh, that's not good. It looks like it's currently almost going to behind that, those thick hedgerows there, but... Oh, please don't move. I think it's moving exactly... Oh, it's moving. It's definitely moved closer, I think, than to where I was aiming. I don't know if my flak can engage that. And it looks like the scout car is following the Sherman on the far left for a flanking maneuver. That's a large turn. Do you see how many spaces that just was? And then we have some infantry backing up that Sherman in the middle. The infantry I'm not worried about. Another Sherman, though, that I am pretty worried about... That's two Shermans in the middle, one on the left, a scout car on the left. So how are we going to deal with this? 48% is really not that good, too. So what I'm thinking is that we maybe advance our Panzer IV to here. And then aim our turret there. And then hold. We're not going to engage or shoot anything. We're just going to hold it here. I'm assuming it's still hidden. And then let's take a look here. What is the chances of it? 60% isn't horrible. And your chance, yeah, your chance was only 48. That's not very good. Maybe we'll pre-aim. What's our line of sight? Okay, we're going to have to aim this way. But I don't know if it can. Nope. That's all the points. No more aim. Oh, no, wait. Okay, no, it aimed a little bit. We aimed it a little bit over, so we're still going to have to do a lot of re-aiming there. I think we're going to end the turn, and hopefully they don't spot any of my units so we can do still. I would love to knock out two out of their three tanks in one turn between the Panzer IV and the Flak slash the, the Panzer Shrek team. But they're so close. This, these guys are four tiles away from my Flak gun. I'm surprised I haven't seen it yet. Okay, there's infantry moving on the left still. And then there's like, what, two squads over here or two teams over here with infantry. We got those two Shermans in the middle over there. I mean, they're just pushing up. But the more, the closer they get towards my infantry, um, all my infantry besides the Panzer Shrek team does come with an MG uh, 34 or 42. So at least <coughs> we'll have some, <coughs> pardon me, we'll have some decent firepower. But, you know, oh, what a scout half track or scout car is reversing back onto the street. I'm starting to think if I should have maybe used my Panzer Shrek on that Sherman on the flank there. And here comes the Sherman movement. Now my flank is in a really awkward spot because it has to turn all the way around and by it'll just not have the accuracy. Like, it'll have a horribly accuracy debuff probably as it tries to engage this Sherman, yeah. It's going to have horrible... Okay, well, might as well sort of pre-aim here. Let's pre aim at the Sherman and see what the chances are. That's not bad. <clears throat> That's actually not bad for a movement I just made. And then I wonder if my... I wonder what the chances are. Okay, they're not... They're all right. Um, oh, 76%. That's actually not bad at all. You could hit this squad for it with a rocket, which would be hilarious, to be honest with you. Okay, so why don't we try... Almost clicked fire. That would have been really awkward. Can we see this Sherman from here? Advance. <clears throat> Aim turret. A 55% is not bad, but it's not great. We're going to have to try this one. No, how did you miss that? Oh, man. Like, looking at that in the picture. Okay, the flat gun. Perfect. Not a kill, but pretty damage. Let's use the rocket on this infantry. No. Let's take a look here. What, who can we fire at here? 
This squad, this might destroy this squad, actually. Okay, they're not destroyed, but they're very hurt. I wonder if we can hit the 76% is pretty good. And 76% is horrible when it's a 24% chance to miss, I suppose, if you look at it like that. That's a lot of infantry. I don't think this machine gun team is going to survive if I open fire. Um, we are going to do it anyway. We're going to fire all this infantry. One down, two down. Okay. Next infantry squad. Okay. Oh, that's a lot dead there. That's like two or three. And then we have one more chance. Let's knock out this one. Ooh, knocking out three or four of them there? Okay, good, good. It's a shame that we're totally out of turns. We're going to see what happens. Oh, we got a unit in the back here. Oh, that's a mortar? Oh, okay, thank God. I thought it was going to hit my, um, my flak there. So infantry advancing behind that Sherman. This Sherman is suppressed, but I don't know if it's totally knocked out of the battle. Infantry squad here doesn't want any of that smoke. They're getting out of the way. And then the infantry all behind these Shermans is pretty hurt. <clears throat> They see me pushing up on that house. Sherman crew there, bailed out. This is going to hurt. It didn't fire its main gun. Oh, it's turning its gun to the, to the Panzer. It's firing. Oh, thank God it missed too. Okay, so we're good. We're good. We're good. I, I was hoping they would fire at the building, but I guess they used the machine on the building and then they missed the, Sher uh, the Panzer IV. So that was a pretty decent turn for us there regarding that Sherman. We did the other Sherman build out. So the crew is still alive. So I don't think they lose the morale points on that. Is this going to shoot at the flak? Oh, only 10% suppression. We are very lucky. We are very lucky. But them bailing out of the of the tank basically I think means that they're not going to have to... Ooh, accurate aim is good. I think what that means is that they won't have to... Yeah, they haven't lost the, the morale points. So I wonder what we can hit here. Let's take a look. Can we hit this Sherman? Let's see the infantry behind it. I mean, that's a, that's a pretty decent you know, rocket strike like that. Uh, we'll knock out this, maybe this infantry back here. Nope, but we'll kill one more. And then I wonder, it's not really worth turning the gun around, is it? We'll just shoot this Sherman again. Okay, it's, I'm just trying to make sure they can't like reman it, you know? Uh, then we want to shoot some of these. There's a full health unit back here. They, whoa, never mind. They're gone. That's very good for us, actually. Then we can try and engage. They're all kind of covered, and my guys are suppressed. We did knock out one of the two guys left in that team. And then I think we can annihilate... We cannot hit the mortar team back there. But we can annihilate this uh, single man here. He's dead. That's another squad down. So now we, all we have left is the Panzer. I think it's going to be 100% worth to... Can we... Oh, we can hold machine on this in the back. I don't know if it's going to do anything. And I was hoping to cause anything, like some suppression or something, right? But fire, and then I think we should shoot in the side of the hull. It's a very broad, big, fat target. That's a perfect knockout blow. That one's on fire, really giving it that Tommy Cooker name. That's one Sherman down, costing them a bunch of morale points. And this Sherman, I will say, has a good chance of knocking out my flak. If the mortar doesn't do it first. I wonder what the mortar... Okay, it's missing. Okay, we're close. They're close. I wonder what the Sherman's doing. Oh, God. Oh, wait. I thought we were watching the Sherman. Watching the infantry. This unit is advancing up into the building, it looks like. Yeah, with my Panzer Shrek team. And that's going to be an interesting one there. Then the infantry behind the Sherman. Not the crew, but the infantry is pushing up. We still have... There's a P team here. We still have that uh, scout car with infantry in it. It seems to just be... Okay, they're suppressing my machine gun team again. Really would have expected that car to maybe go, you know, faster, move up towards us, but... Okay, here's the Sherman. Here's the moment. It's going to hit the flat gun, I assume. Ooh, that's a double out of... There's a... Okay, that's bad. That's really bad. That has a two-man crew. They just not Or three-man crew, and just knocked out two of it. The flak is basically useless now. You know... Okay. But the thing is, what we could do... Is I wonder... If we can advance and then aim to turret, 70% is not bad. Let's actually knock out some more infantry while we have the chance to do so. 
That's gonna knock out both of them. That's another Annihilation, I think. Yep. It cost them one more morale point. Uh, this flat gun is totally messed up. Like, they're not gonna get back and wake up at all. And there's infantry in the building here with us, which is a little weird. Um... Can't really do much about that. We can do this. That look didn't look bad. Don't know what ha nothing really happened there. It just seems that they just gave them some suppression, so that was maybe not the most effective. We can knock out a squad of infantry here, giving them just one morale point left. So if they lose one more squad, this game is over. Now instead of engaging the infantry there, I think what we're gonna do we're gonna engage this Sherman with a shell. This looks so I love the camera like that. That is awesome. That is gonna be dead. That's their morale points gone, and we really didn't lose. Oh, well, did we even lose a full squad? So I don't think so. I mean, the worst honest. thing that was hit was the flak. So a pretty decent battle. I think this really again shows that what is more important in the troop as a defender is to hold your fire until it's time to ambush and then knock out as many units as possible. Now what we're gonna have to do in the future is try this battle on the attack, but for now I hope you guys enjoyed and I'd love to see you in the next one. Cheers.